In, in the fall of 2016, I was traveling around the U.S. to visit some friends, and my last stop was in Florida. After some scuba diving and other tourist stuff, we got talking, and I mentioned that I'd never seen a rocket launch. So I checked the Kennedy Space Center website to see if there were any coming up. There was going to be a launch a few days after I was scheduled to fly home, so I delayed my flight so that I could drive down and watch it. I didn't know anything about what was being launched, but I knew I was about to see a tower of explosives be launched into space, so I didn't really care one way or the other. Etc. Etc. So. I found this very nice video of a guy that was so interested in uh, after he had seen a launch that he was thinking of trying to receive his own satellite signals. But yeah, according to Flat Arts, <laughs> all the images we ever see of Earth are either CGI by NASA or Japan or whoever what these guys have done and that's what their video is all about and that's what I want to bring under your attention is they built their own receiver and with that receiver and antenna they look at signals of satellites and then like here the Himawari 8, eh, which has uh, visible light, infrared and uh, water vapor infrared. And they actually then built their own construction, which is of course not as <laughs> professional as that one, but much more like this. And in the end, they get the data in. and are able to come up with real images. At, at the moment, as what they explained, <laughs> that they were looking at, at the wrong location. Uh, they got signal of a satellite that was not yet transmitting anything. So they did it again. And then it delivered this and this pictures. This and these pictures, I should say. So. If the Earth is flat, how come you can take an antenna, aim it at a point high up in the sky, which was given as a location of a satellite, and then when you aim the antenna, you suddenly get the data. And when you then process the data, you get images of the Earth in all kinds of spectrum spectra that's a bit strange above a flat earth isn't it i will post a link to the marvelous video of these guys that make their own receivers and that of course would never be possible if the earth was flat thank you for watching